Jennifer Huff is speaking out against Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenneth Petty amid the alleged assault allegations from 1994 after accusing them of bribery last month. Let's get into it. Jennifer Huff is no longer afraid to speak her truth as she sits down with the real host Garcelle Beauvais and Adrian Bailon to recall the recent events involving both Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenneth Petty, who Jennifer claims to be her abuser. But before we continue, I just want to issue a trigger warning as we will be discussing accounts of rape and sexual assault, so please only continue watching if you feel comfortable doing so. Last month, both Nicki and Kenneth were sued after a woman who Kenneth had sexually assaulted in 1994, who, come to find out, was Jennifer, accused them of bribery. The lawsuit was filed in a federal court in Brooklyn, New York, and alleges that Nikki and her associates have repeatedly reached out to Jennifer and her family in an attempt to get her to issue a statement denying that the sexual assault occurred. At the time, Variety reported that Jennifer claimed that one associate of Nikki's so much as came to her house and offered her $20,000 to sign a document redacting the allegation, and that Nikki allegedly also offered to film a video for Jennifer's daughter's birthday. In the interview with Garcelle, and Adrian, Jennifer details what's gone down since filing the lawsuit as she has now decided to speak up because she was tired of being afraid. Jennifer told the host that she's denied every bribe brought forth by Nikki, Kenneth, and their associates, and that at one point back in 2020, she even spoke to Nikki directly. Um, she offered to fly me and my family to LA. She, um, I turned it down and I told her, woman to woman, this really happened. Jennifer then recounted the first time she saw Kenneth at a bus stop, telling the hosts that he put an object in her back and forced her into a nearby home, and then her school security called the police, who asked her to bring them to the scene of the crime. She recalled, quote, I watched them bring him out in handcuffs, and then they took me to the hospital, which happened years before Kenneth's conviction was made public. Nikki even took to social media around the time it went public, claiming he and Jennifer were in a relationship and that Kenneth was 15 at the time. When asked how those claims made Jennifer feel, she told Adrian, it was like reliving it again because it was a lie. It wasn't true. We both were 16. We were never in a relationship. I just felt woman to woman that was wrong of her. Jennifer Huff has been trending on social media throughout the day as many Twitter users are coming to her defense and sharing messages of support. This person tweeted, this is trauma. I recognize it. This is what Nikki's fans support. That ain't it. Protect Jennifer Huff. Another user wrote, the way people are bashing Jennifer Huff for speaking up about victim harassment and intimidation is exactly why women feel afraid to report rape in the first place. Others feel Jennifer is telling the truth as this is in no way a ploy for money, considering the fact that she turned down all alleged monetary bribes from Nikki and Kenneth. Nikki nor Kenneth have yet to speak out about Jennifer's interview, but it seems this may now need to be settled in the hands of attorneys. We here at Clever would like to make our stance on sex sexual assault clear. Under no circumstances should allegations like Jennifer's be taken lightly. We wish her nothing but clarity and peace moving forward from this devastating situation. At this time, feel free to share your thoughts on Jennifer's tell-all interview in the comments down below. For now, guys, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. You can find me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll see you soon.